there is a substantial amount of fossil evidence reported by researchers that claim modern-day insects have been around for more than 412 million years, with larger species having been around for roughly 479 million years in total. Given the fact that there are more than 10 quintillion insects at any given time on Earth, roughly outnumbering humanity a billion to one, it is a wonder to researchers why much larger forms of insect species have not yet evolved. Many theories have been posited as to why this is, from understanding the process of oxygenation of insect species to their ancient prehistoric forms of much larger size. Unfortunately, no clear-cut answer may ever surface surrounding the mysteries of evolutionary advantages and disadvantages of size, however, there are many of whom claim that large insect species do exist but are merely confused with that of monsters from around the world. So today, we will be discussing a number of these strange sightings as we delve deeper into some of the most mysterious insectoid cases that have yet to be explained. Mantis Man Cryptid Located near the Musconic Kong River, found in Hackettstown, New Jersey, is a hotspot location that many have reported as being an area that a massive praying mantis creature can be seen. Sightings of the mantis creature, also known as the mantis man, have been made so consistently that there seems to be online message boards that center around supposed sightings by locals in the area of whom encounter the mantis man creature. According to eyewitnesses, mantis man stands at roughly 7 feet tall and closely resembles a praying mantis. However, the creature seems to be almost entirely transparent as its skin looks to be a shade of brown that is not entirely opaque in its color, as well as possessing massive wings that can be hidden or spread out similar to creatures of the Mantodia order. Mantis Man is usually seen standing in the river, seemingly fishing for food. Whenever people spot the creature, it quickly runs away and hides within the nearby tree line to get away from any eyewitnesses, making it nearly impossible to follow. So far, there have been no reported attacks from the Mantis Man creature, and because of its routine and lone appearance, many have speculated that the creature is most likely an experiment gone wrong, as no normal praying mantis could ever evolve or be born through mutation to meet such a massive size, as the oxygenation of the creature relies on air pressure and does not possess any form of lungs. If such a species were ever to double in size, without lungs to allow it to breathe, the natural surrounding air would not be enough to allow the creature to oxygenate its cells and would soon thereafter suffocate. Others believe that Mantis Man is an extraterrestrial creature of some kind that has been left behind on Earth and, for reasons not entirely known, is unable to get back home. The Chicago Willis Tower Sighting Back in 2017, on the 24th of July, at approximately 5.10pm, several eyewitnesses claimed to have seen a large insectoid creature flying and landing on the Chicago Willis Tower. Eyewitnesses had quickly called a man by the name of Lon Strickler, of whom runs a website known as Phantoms and Monsters, and alerted him to their sighting of the strange creature, trying to figure out what it could have been. The eyewitnesses described the creature as being roughly six feet in height and perched atop the Chicago Willis Tower, with a wingspan of roughly eight feet and jagged wings similar to that of a moth. The body of the creature was described as being similar in design to that of a praying mantis, with a dark green hue and legs that seemed to be human-like. Shortly after being spotted by eyewitnesses, the creature jumped from the tower and began flying away. The eyewitnesses then claimed that as the creature was flying away, it began changing shape as if it were shape-shifting into a different form into something that was described as being a human, insect, and bird hybrid. According to Lon Strickler, the owner of the Phantoms and Monsters website, this creature has been sighted more than 22 times within 2017 alone. Believing many to hold the sentiment that the creature is residing within Chicago as more and more sightings every year seem to hold similar descriptions of this human-insect-bird hybrid. The Mothman This next popularly reported insectoid creature is regarded as one of the most well-known cryptids ever reported and comes from the state of West Virginia, a state that has more than its own fair share of cryptid creatures. Known as the Mothman, the creature was first recorded back on the 12th of November back in 1966, near the small town of Clendenin 
and was at the center of a number of future predicting conspiracies that would later see the collapse of the Silver Bridge in the nearby town of Point Pleasant. Although many might not be aware, the Mothman has been reported in many places all around the world, usually only a few days or moments before a terrible accident or tragedy would take place. The Mothman creature, described as being an eight-foot-tall moth-like monster, commonly described as having a large wingspan and flying away from eyewitnesses, has been seen prior to the Chernobyl incident in modern-day Ukraine, in Mexico shortly before the outbreak of the swine flu epidemic, in Point Pleasant several days before the collapse of the Silver Bridge, as well as at a number of mining operations before the mines were soon to collapse. Because of the Mothman sightings shortly before a terrible tragedy, there has been an ongoing debate since its first recorded sighting back in 1966 surrounding the true intentions of the creature and its ability to predict future events. Some hold the sentiment that the Mothman is attempting to change the future by making its presence known and warning people of a future disaster, whereas others believe that the Mothman is at the center of these disasters, acting as an active force to cause the tragedy. Given the fact that after the major tragedy following the Mothman's appearance, the Mothman will disappear from an area, never to be seen again, which establishes a direct connection between the cryptid and the tragedy itself. New theories have begun claiming the possibility that rather than predicting the future via supernatural means, the Mothman is capable of traveling through time via mechanical or scientifically plausible means and going back through time to try to change the tragic events from occurring. Evidence for this theory seems to grow surrounding strange predictive messages, dreams from witnesses, sightings of electrical power coming from the Mothman or being absorbed by the Mothman, and some eyewitness testimonies that claim a form of teleportation has been reported. Unfortunately, to this day, not much is known of the cryptid. Mantis Alien Sightings Extraterrestrial sightings have been made all across the world, all throughout collective human history, and each sighting and description has led to more and more puzzling insights surrounding such space-faring creatures. Of these sightings in the modern day, one of the strangest and perhaps most insightful was that of the reports made by a woman named Linda Porter back in 1963, during her abduction within the small town of Covina in the state of California. She claimed that at the age of 15, extraterrestrial beings, described to being similar in design to large praying mantis creatures, later named the Mantis Alien, would abduct Linda Porter via the use of interdimensional portals that could suddenly transport her onto a spaceship in low Earth orbit. Over the next couple of years, these abductions would continue to occur a number of times and eventually lead Linda Porter to discover the purpose of the routine alien abductions as well as the appearance of the mantis being. According to Linda Porter, aliens alerted her that she was diagnosed with a disease that was slowly draining her life and that they had to intervene to help save her. This led to them cloning a new body for Linda Porter and transferring her soul into the new body as the aliens were supposedly in the process of studying the human soul for further information. After her soul was transferred into the new body, she was then greeted by a mantis being that claimed to be an ancient version of the grey aliens and was far more intelligent and spiritually gifted than the other shorter extraterrestrials that she had encountered. The mantis being was supposedly capable of communicating with Linda Porter via telepathic communication and explained that the aliens had the special ability of being able to send intense emotions to manipulate human beings. One such example the alien provided was that of creating sudden and intense fear into scaring people into scattering from a certain area if it did not want any humans in the area. Shortly before returning Linda Porter back to her home for the last time, the mantis being explained that it was not an extraterrestrial being but rather that of an interdimensional being vibrating at a higher plane of existence and that it was trying to prevent a massive warping of space-time that could collapse the world into each other and destroy both. But what do you all think of these mysterious insectoid cases and sightings in the modern day? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.